And the North Texas Food Bank hits the road to serve hard to reach people now. Chip, taking a break from the traffic center to give us details. Yeah, and this is an amazing piece of equipment we're getting ready to show you. We're getting a sneak peek at it. Karen Ferris, thank you so much for being here. You, you and your group, the Rotary Club of Park Cities, came up with the idea of funding this truck. What was the inspiration? Well, one of the goals of Rotary is to solve problems within a community. And while the Rotary Club of Park Cities has some of the wealthiest zip codes on the planet, the problem is there's still too much hunger in North Texas. So one of our strategic initiatives was to do this and to do it with people like the North Texas Food Bank and like Texas Capital Bank. This was a perfect project. It certainly is a huge undertaking, though. We're talking about a truck that costs a lot of money. A lot of money, How'd yeah. How'd you raise the funds? This came together quickly for us. We decided Good. to do this starting in July. We have a number of very, very generous donors in our club. We have a foundation. A young couple named the Houghtons hosted a fundraiser for us. So it all came together, and today here we are with the money to deliver to the North Texas Food Bank. And Matt Hackler, you are the beneficiary of this with the North Texas Food Bank. Can you give us a tour? Yes, absolutely. Oh, awesome. Okay, so how's this thing going to work? Well, so this provides a, a shot into communities that don't have access to fresh, healthy food, whether they be urban communities uh, with folks who have mobility issues like uh, seniors, low-income housing complex, or rural communities. Okay. So what this will do is go out into those communities and deliver the fresh, healthy food directly wow. to them. So uh, this is just a sample of what we do. These are boxes full of healthy food, the stuff that families need that are hard uh, to buy at the grocery so store. So you're talking fresh produce, yes. and other elements that would Absolutely. be great to keep that... Uh, the people running it at the optimum conditions. Absolutely. That Even you can run the um, uh, items that are hard, most expensive in the grocery store. Okay. Meat, eggs, dairy. So this actually is fully refrigerated. These are shelf stable items like the peanut butters and the tuna fishes and those sorts of things. But it will have, uh, it'd be like a little grocery store on wheels. So All of them with like separate compartments. So you just, it's almost like bringing a supermarket to the people. Absolutely. In the rural directly areas. to people where they need it to provide How much food stuff. can this thing hold? 6,000 pounds of food. Wow. You actually see above us, it actually is equipped with an awning as well. And the awning helps this become like a, a station for up to 10 volunteers, our staff, and the people that we serve to come through, receive their uh, groceries, but also things like um, sign up for SNAP benefits, nutrition education, on and on. You were saying uh, 6,000 pounds of food is what pr is provided here. That's amazing. 6,000 pounds. That would serve 300 families in a week. Okay. That is incredible. Now, this, you're allowing us a little bit of a sneak preview. You actually yes. will debut this this afternoon, correct? Yes, the Rotary Club of Park Cities is unveiling to their membership uh, the, the truck that they made possible with their gift uh, at their uh, weekly meeting, which will be held at our new offices. Where will you take this place this well, thing first. Next week it'll be in West Dallas for its very first um, shot to the community and that'll be one of our pilot programs and then as we roll out it'll be in lots of other communities in need, uh, urban and then rural as well. Matt, thank I, you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Excellent. Appreciate it. Love it. So again, really neat piece of equipment here getting ready to go into service and uh, I'm pretty pleased to be able to show it to you firsthand.